I'm 7 Weather Meteorologist Josh Nichols with this week's edition of Josh's Weather Academy, a segment where I take some of your weather questions and take a deeper dive into all the weather wise. The summer solstice happens this week on Thursday, marking the beginning of summer. But just exactly what is the summer solstice and what goes into it? Today I'm going to take a deeper dive into that and explain its significance. Throughout history, cultures have celebrated the summer solstice with festivals and traditions, often associated with themes of growth and renewal. Scientifically, the summer solstice marks the point in the year when the Earth's axis is tilted most toward the sun, resulting in the longest day and the shortest night of the year. Now, intuitively, we would think that the distance of our big blue marble to the sun would govern how we warm up. But that's just not the case. How the Earth is tilted with respect to the sun is the main driver of our seasons. The distance to the sun has nothing to do with it. As summer gets going, we're 94 and a half million miles away from the sun. In January, after the winter solstice, we're actually more than 3 million miles closer. Now, you'll be also be wondering why the warmest day on average doesn't match up with the summer solstice. This is because of something called the seasonal temperature lag. You can see that in this graph here. Water absorbs a large amount of energy before it actually gets warmer due to it having a higher specific heat than land does. In other words, it physically heats up slower than the land. Water has a major influence on regulating air temperatures across the globe. As a result, some of the lowest or highest temperatures of the year take place a month after either the winter or summer solstice and not on their actual dates. So as you can see, our summer warmth has nothing to do with our distance from the Earth to the sun as we're actually further away from the sun in summer than we are in winter. Got a weather question that you'd like answered? Email me at weather at WKBW.com and your weather question could be the subject of the next Josh's Weather Academy. I'm 7 Weather Meteorologist Josh Nichols. Stay weather wise.